For centuries, the Neanderthal has been portrayed as a brutish, unsophisticated branch of the human evolutionary tree. Pop culture has often depicted them as little more than primitive cavemen who lived simple, harsh lives with rudimentary tools and instincts. However, groundbreaking archaeological discoveries continue to dismantle this stereotype, instead revealing a species far more complex than we once imagined. In a stunning discovery at Vanguard Cave, part of the Gorham's Cave Complex in Gibraltar, researchers uncovered a 60,000-year-old structure that provides direct evidence of Neanderthal ingenuity. The Neanderthals, also known as Homo neanderthalensis, were our closest extinct relatives, living in Europe and parts of Western Asia from approximately 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. They evolved from a common ancestor shared with modern humans and adapted to survive in the challenging, cold environments of the Ice Age. Their existence overlapped with Homo sapiens for thousands of years, and this led to interactions that included interbreeding, as evidenced by the traces of Neanderthal DNA in modern human genomes. Though they disappeared as a distinct species around 40,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climatic changes, competition with Homo sapiens, and other factors, their legacy lives on. For decades, Neanderthals were thought to lack the cognitive abilities and cultural complexities of their modern human cousins. However, discoveries over the past few decades, ranging from cave paintings to burial rituals, have consistently revealed a different story. Nestled in the Gorham's Cave Complex, Vanguard Cave has long been recognised as a site of immense archaeological importance. This natural complex is protected by layers of wind-blown sediment, and this makes it an extraordinarily important window into the daily lives of Neanderthals. This unassuming pit at first glance may appear simple, but its purpose reveals an astonishing complexity. The recent discovery of a pit-like structure there is particularly significant because it demonstrates a technique known as anoxic heating, a sophisticated method for extracting resin from plants. Resin is a sticky organic substance that was highly valued in prehistoric times as an adhesive. Neanderthals used it to bind stone tools to wooden handles, creating effective hunting and cutting implements. But producing resin isn't simple. The process involves heating plant material to release the resin while preventing combustion, a task requiring not only knowledge of materials, but also control over fire and oxygen. Researchers have theorised two primary methods for extracting resin. One method is open-air combustion, which involves burning birch bark in an open fire to release resin. While effective, it yields small quantities and requires minimal technical expertise. The other method, anoxic heating, is a more complex process. It involves burying plant material, such as birch bark or rock rose chips, in a pit insulated from oxygen. The material is then heated by a controlled fire above, causing it to release resin without burning. The structure discovered at Vanguard Cave matches the description of an anoxic heating system. To confirm this, researchers conducted analyses involving geochemistry, mineralogy and experimental archaeology. Their results demonstrated that the pit could only have been used to produce resin, a process demanding foresight, planning and a deep understanding of fire management. The discovery of this structure at Vanguard Cave is the first physical evidence of an anoxic heating chamber associated with Neanderthals. Until now, researchers could only speculate about how they produced resin, relying on experimental archaeology and theoretical models. The pit's existence confirms that Neanderthals employed sophisticated techniques. To validate their findings, researchers conducted experimental reconstructions of the resin-making process they replicated the pit's design and the materials used. These experiments confirmed that the structure was highly effective for producing resin. It showed that Neanderthals not only understood the technique, but also optimised it for their needs. Notably, the resin extracted at this site likely came from prickly rock rose, or Cystus ladanifa, a plant native to Mediterranean regions. This is significant because birch trees, often associated with resin production, were scarce in the area 60,000 years ago. This shows that the Neanderthals possessed adaptability and knowledge of local flora. The implications of this discovery extend beyond technology. 
It challenges long-standing assumptions about Neanderthal intelligence and cultural development. The ability to produce resin using anoxic heating suggests that Neanderthals were capable of abstract thinking. They understood cause and effect relationships, allowing them to innovate and refine complex processes. Such techniques were likely passed down through generations, which indicates a capacity for social learning. This ability to share knowledge shows that Neanderthals had a sophisticated means of communication and education. Furthermore, identifying suitable plants and harvesting them sustainably demonstrates an ecological awareness that showed they had a complex understanding of the world around them. These attributes paint a picture of Neanderthals as skilled problem solvers who were capable of adapting to diverse environments and leveraging their surroundings for survival. The discovery of the resin-making pit is part of a larger narrative of Neanderthal ingenuity. Other findings at Vanguard Cave and the Gorham's Cave Complex provide additional evidence of their cultural and intellectual depth. For instance, in 2012, researchers uncovered a hashtag-like engraving on limestone within the complex that was interpreted by some as a form of symbolic expression or early art. Neanderthals also collected black feathers from various bird species, possibly for aesthetic or ceremonial purposes, and used pigments like ochre for body decoration or symbolic activities. Studies of Neanderthal anatomy suggest they had the capacity for speech, with vocalisations likely differing from modern humans. Their voices were described as high-pitched and potentially hoarse and show how they might have communicated complex ideas and shared knowledge. The discovery at Vanguard Cave was the result of an extensive, multidisciplinary effort. A team of 31 researchers from over five countries and 15 scientific disciplines collaborated on this project. Their expertise ranged from paleobotany and iconology, or the study of trace fossils, to geochemistry and crystallography. The discovery of a 60,000-year-old resin production site at Vanguard Cave marks a turning point in our understanding of Neanderthals. It challenges deeply ingrained stereotypes. It reveals a species that was innovative, resourceful and deeply attuned to their environment. Far from being the brutish caricatures of popular imagination, Neanderthals emerge as sophisticated thinkers and skilled artisans who left a lasting mark on human history. As researchers continue to uncover new evidence, the story of the Neanderthals grows ever more fascinating. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding not only their world, but also the shared roots of creativity and ingenuity that connect us all. Their story, like ours, is one of survival, adaptation, and the unrelenting pursuit of knowledge.